hello and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for always coming back and watching my videos my name is winnie and i'm a youtuber from kenya i'm so glad you guys have stopped by this channel and are watching this video from the topic you can tell that today is gonna be a fishy affair so as uh, simply we are going to talk about fish if you're interested in knowing where you can buy affordable fish for your household or where you can buy affordable fish for your business where you can buy affordable fish for your hotels and if you're doing catering services and also if you just want to feed your family with healthy and good fish just stay tuned to the end of this video i'm going to take you to the place where i found they sell good fish fresh fish which is affordable so uh, let's talk about the price market of fish right now for a good fish which you can uh, subdivide into two or three at a market rate here in kenya you will buy it for around 500 600 shillings uh, this means that uh, this is a fish which could be approximately this size it's a, a little bit longer so it's able to serve two to three people one fish so that you can get for around uh, 600 shillings that is like if you're buying retail prices from vendors but let's look at if you go to this particular outlet and you buy this same fish what is the price you're going to pay you will realize you'll pay almost half that price you're going to get this fish at 300 shillings which is way way cheaper uh, let's say you get several of them then of course you save on the economies of scale and you are going to have so many uh, more uh, like saved from your food budget food is very essential and uh, Fish is very essential because it has omega-3. In African homes, it's well esteemed, especially in the Nyanza region and people coming from the Western region, they love fish and I love fish also very, very much. It's very rich in omega-3 fat, uh, oils and fat, which are good for the brain development of children and also uh, adults. So let's look at where you can get this fish. I'm going to say first of all that this is not a promotion video this is just my own finding i have been someone who has been buying this fish from this particular outlet for quite a very very long time and today i went to the same outlet i did not shoot a footage just right inside because there there are some of course restrictions and all that but i managed to do a very small clip around there but i'm going to show you what i got and at what price and you guys comment in the comment section tell me if it was this a good deal let me know do you love uh, this particular outlet and without further ado i want to reveal that this is a uh, there this particular outlet that has come out called victory farms they have fresh tilapia from the lakeside uh, from the lake victoria and i have loved their fish their fish is so nice for the period i have taken their fish it's really nice so mostly they have so many outlets around nairobi i went to the outlet which is nearest to me i i really enjoyed their customer service although i had to really stay on the queue there was a long queue because there are so many people especially resellers people who are going to resell the fish they were there very early i also tried my best i was there by around 7 30 in the morning i was there waiting in line so that i can also get a portion of this good fish so if you're starting of you are thinking of starting a fish business you do not need a lot of money you just need around 2000 to 3000 shillings you can use your 2000 for stock and then the other 1000 you can buy your cooking oil and a jiko and charcoal and then you can get a place nearest to where people are passing focus a place which is very highly populated so that you can sell your fish fast and also you need to have a freezer or a fridge so that you can preserve whatever you are unable to sell i've said quite a lot so let's just get right into the video let's see what i got let's see how it to get there this particular outlet i went is around mombasa road this is around mlolongo 
just next to quick mart quick mart mulolongo supermarket just behind it there you will find victory farms quick mart mulolongo market then just behind the quick mart market you're going to find the victory farms just go early make sure you go very early because you may wait in line and then you may find that the fish is over let's look at the footage i took while i was there guys good morning i hope your morning is fine i hope you're doing well so today i've just woken up very early in the morning i want to go to the fish market so i want to tag you guys along let's go get some fish and then we are going to prepare the fish and freeze it and do all that so i've carried some paper bags for the market i've woken up early because i know there are always so many people at the fish market so let's go and see how they sell fish and also let's get some for the month ahead she got a body like a goddess and she talks so sweet it's like i can't believe i'm the one that she wanted and if I'm really being honest I know I could be Everything she needs If she let me get on it yeah. So call me a baby the market and i got those fish you see i was just showing you there how the gills are red or pinkish if you want to know a fresh fish a fresh fish should have pink uh, pinkish or reddish gills there we are washing now we are washing hapo there you should check if it's turning dark or grayish that fish is not fresh just do not buy it anytime you're buying fish make sure you check and wash thoroughly with clean water i'd already washed the first time this is the second time i'm washing because you know this fish i'm going to feed even the small babies in my house so i have to ensure i am washing in several uh, rounds so that to ensure that they are really really the fish is really clean entirely clean so i have to keep washing the fish you can see the gills are pink the way i told you wash everything when you get this fish they have already removed the scales the f you are not going to remove the scales for yourselves or some the whatever the stomach things the things which are always inside the stomach you're not going to remove them they have already done that for you that is how good this outlet is they just give you fish which is almost Almost ready to just put into the cooking pot and just serve to your family just ensure you wash thoroughly I repeat wash with running water and just wash with water only you don't need to add any chemical or any reagent while washing fish this size I took is size 4 this one is size 4 I bought like 8 fish for 1345 shillings this was around 3 point something kilograms 3 point something kgs and this is 8 fish every week we eat 2 fish because we are a family of around 4 people so we can share 1 fish to people and this fish is able to last us for the whole month if I'm going to buy this same fish in a retail I will buy 1 fish at around 400 to 500 shillings and if I was to calculate that that would be very expensive I couldn't get 8 fish with 15 with 1300 that is all the fish I've put it on the grill this is my grill, my oven grill I just wanted to drain the water before i pack them into ziploc freezer compatible bags for storage this is a very ideal way if you have enough space to store kindly 
go for this particular way these are the ziploc bags i have these are the longer ones i have various sizes but for fish i use these 2 kg ones which are almost the largest i have they are recyclable i've used them i can recycle once you use as long as it's not torn ensure it's not torn i always check for cracks and tears before i reuse these as ziploc bags so i'm just preserving this fish inside here and then just keeping it ready to go into the freezer. This is fish enough for us to eat for the whole month. And it always stays fresh because I keep it in a freezer that is around minus 20, minus 16 degrees Celsius. That's really, really frozen cold. And it ensures the fish stays fresh. So I'm going to do similarly. I'm going to pack even this other pack and they even gave me a discount. I think they gave me one extra fish, a smaller size, uh, because I'm their customer. <laughs> I'm, I'm their loyal client. Eh? So they know they are expecting me. Every end month, they expect me to come. So when I come, they have something small for me. I'll be doing a video on how to prepare fish for your family. And that is going to come, I think, next after this video. Kindly watch that video and see how I prepare delicious fish for my family. So let's pack this other fish into these uh, Ziploc bags. Let's pack all of them. Now we're done. Let me carry them to the freezer using this my pink basin. I'll just I've stuck two two in each because anytime we want to remove, we just remove one pack and we will be good to go. So guys, let me know how far this far. Are you enjoying this video? Do you think this is a good deal? Can you imagine all this fish just for 13 hundred and forty five shillings? That is like I don't know ten dollars approximately 10 to 8 dollars so let's come to the freezer i have cleaned out my freezer these are just what was remaining by the end of the month the freezer is empty it's clean i've defrosted it it's ready to take in the new batch of food which is going to last us for the next one month i tell you guys this freezer has saved me it has really saved me a lot i don't have to keep going to the market all the time the headache of shopping for healthy food is really hard especially if you have children you can't keep going to the market every day like when you have a nine to five job at times you i have meetings to attend later in the day and i don't have time these are some beans i stocked here which i i did they have not i've not used them i still have some few vegetables left on the lower compartments but i want to keep the fish that side so so far guys are you enjoying this video Kindly, if you visited a Victory Farms outlet, let me know your experience. Did you like it? Did you get such a good deal? I think the prices keep changing per kg each time. There are times they have offers, but I think I always love their services. And I, more so, I just love the fish that they give us. Guys, if you've loved this video, kindly subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. See you.